everyone, how you doing? Hope everyone had a good new year. So we're back at the projects and it's not going to be as exciting as a Ford, but it's something I have to kind of do. Uh, a few months ago I was cutting down a tree uh, in the front yard and what happened was one of the, like one of the stumps I was cutting down, I could have positioned it but I was tired at, the, at that moment and I kind of fell and broke the sandstone bench. So what I want to do is I want to try and fix it with concrete and, and salvage the sandstone that we have left. So as you can see, this is the bench. I've already prepared a few things over there. Now what I want to do is I want to drill holes in this bench and then kind of put this rebar in there. I'm, I am kind of worried because that rebar is pretty thick. I'm kind of worried that once I start drilling this might start to break but I'll try and be gentle with it and I'll show you the tree. So what we were doing was we we're trying to get rid of this tree because it's kind of leaning towards the house. I was at the top of the tree cutting about a meter off the top and it was just like straight up and down and I could have pushed it away but like I said I was tired and then it just fell right on the corner and I thought about making the whole slab concrete but then I thought I'd give it a go and try and uh, half, make it half concrete and half that see how it looks there's the other pieces they're just completely shattered Might be a bit better. Might look better, right? Yeah. So as you can see, I I was expecting the drilling to be a bit more difficult. Uh, but it would it actually turned out the way I, you know, you know when you kind of plan things in your head and you're like, oh yeah, this is how it will turn out, and then it then it's actually a little harder than you thought. Well, this was actually just as easy as I thought initially. So as you can see, this is just what I wanted to do, just to really test it out. I mean, I think you know it's going to make it heaps stronger. I'm not sure what effect it's going to have on the sandstone, but. Uh, yeah, we, so, so now what I want to do is basically drill these like that, drill a board over here, and then concrete, and that's it. But I do, see, I do have to put something to, to make it level so that I can just kind of, to make the concreting process a bit easier, because if this isn't level, it'll be that little bit harder to kind of make it flush all right but so far so good
right so everything is ready as you can see um, now it's just time to mix the concrete and pour it in and we'll see how it goes uh, I could have yeah I just wanted to I just wanted to see if something like this would work because I've never really done anything like this uh, I, I know I could have just cemented the whole block but we, we did pay quite a bit for this like a long time ago so I thought I'd try and fix it and it's kind of gonna it's gonna look a bit rustic as well I think with the two pieces joined together and I think I think it would look cool yeah so uh, let's go ahead and get the concrete I think that's a bit too thick, that this wood. Yeah. So we're pretty much finished. Uh, Lauren suggested something really good that at the end we'll flip it over and that side will be the, the finished side. Uh, I didn't think of that beforehand, otherwise I would have washed this surface on the inside a bit better. So when we flip it over, there'll probably be some like dust and some other stuff stuck in it. Um, other than that, I'm not too confident of how it will come out only because I haven't had too much experience with cement and concrete and I forgot to com I forgot completely to buy the premix stuff so this is pure cement there's no sand and there's no lime in it so I kind of didn't realize that um, but we'll see uh, anyone who knows uh, about cement and concrete uh, put a comment down below tell me which one's stronger is it is it stronger with sand and lime, or is it stronger, like, obviously it's not stronger on its own, but, but like, what are the uses when with the cement that has sand and lime in it, as opposed to just straight cement? Like, what can you do with just straight cement? Or do you have to mix it? Yeah, if you, can, you guys can let me know about that, I'll probably look it up as well. But hopefully, just straight cement is good enough. Um... The only thing I know about cement and concrete is concrete has those rocks in it and cement doesn't. That's like the only thing I know. And other than that, I've just... I've, this is probably the second time I've done something like this. So, fingers crossed it comes out good. Now we just got to wait seven days. So I'll probably just cover this up. I might hang around a bit because I can see bubbles coming through. Yeah. It was a pretty good experience. Fingers crossed... 
I mean, if it doesn't go well, what I'll do is I'll probably redo it. Like, ho hopefully, if it does go bad, this will be easy to separate. And then what I'll do is I'll make sure to get the premix stuff and then do it properly. So, yeah, fingers crossed it goes good or it goes really bad. Because if it goes in between, then we kind of, you know, if that sticks to this, we might have to scrap this whole piece and just do do a whole thing out of cement and... This is what happens when I don't know anything about what I'm working on. It's just trial and error. But yeah. So it's been seven days now and it looks like it's finished. It said leave it for seven days to cure. Um, I did a bit of research afterwards and, and I realized that it does shrink a bit. As you can see, it has shrunk quite quite a bit even though we had it higher than it should have been. but. I guess that's because we didn't use the premix or we didn't use sand and all that other stuff because I did read uh, on some forums that the sand stops it from shrinking as much. So all we got to do now is take this off and then I want to flip it and maybe I hope this doesn't happen but if we go to flip it and this cracks in two pieces I'll just start again and we'll, we'll do everything again. I didn't cement the rebar in which I should have probably done. But no, I think it should be fine. I think we'll just flip it and then fingers crossed. All right. Alright, so came out nice. Um, so there wasn't any signs of breaking, there's no signs of cracking. It all looks so one solid piece. We do have air pockets here and there. Um, it looked like it bled over the bench because the line of the bench is kind of here, which uh, I don't mind. But uh, if I didn't want that, obviously I would have to somehow close the gap between the wood and the sandstone next time. Um, there is no shrinkage at the top here as you can see because it's all all the corners are nice and square and awesome looking I really like the way this came out um, There is cinder blocks as you could see under the bench, but they're not actually holding anything up. There's a gap between them So they're just probably as a they'll probably put there as a safety precaution um, The only one thing is I would like to see this polished up so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably take the time to polish it and see how it comes out. But uh, no, I'm really happy how it looks. It kind of looks like uh, once it's polished, it might look like the ocean meeting the sand. Kind of looks cool. Uh, but no, it looks really good. I'm I'm really happy with how the corners were filled. All the corners look filled, and there's no gaps. And it felt really strong when we were lifting it as well. All right, so let me just get in the center here. Uh, 
pretty strong. That is as much as I want to test my luck with this thing. So it's pretty strong. I'm really happy with how I did the rebar as well. That's just uh, overkill, I think. But no, it's really cool. So uh, on to the next project.